What are you doing up there? Buster, come here. Okay, all right, okay. What are you, how'd you get up there? Here, come here, come on, come on, come on, but up, 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 up. Okay, good boy. Okay, there's one down. Come on, bud, come here. Come on, up, up, up. Good boy, oh yeah. There's number two down, there we go, good boy. Come on, let's go. Let's go see the peepers. It's pretty funny. Uh, well, <laughs> gee, I guess I think everything is funny. But uh, last night was the first night that the little peepers are... are uh... Hey, guys, we're going this way. Come on, down here. Oh, that's right, down here. <laughs> but the, the pe peepers are these little, these little frogs. Here we go. Peepers are these little frogs. I, I don't know where my selfie stick is, so pardon pardon the uh, the close-ups. You can hear the peepers. <laughs> these little little teeny frogs, and I don't know what their real name is, but they're called. We call them peepers. I think everybody in the friggin' northeast calls them peepers. And I went over to the. I have a little pond over here, and I went over to the little pond. To record the peepers, and the peepers, I guess they got stage fright, because when they were on camera, they all shut up. Now, unfortunately, we have the road behind me, so we're going to hear cars going by from time to time. But hopefully, and hopefully the dogs won't scare them, because once they shut up, they don't come back. It's been like two days since I heard the peepers. And there we go. A little bit of silence so we can hear the peepers. Let's see if we can get closer. I just love these little guys because if you've ever seen one, they're so small. They're like they're they're teeny. And you get a million of these little guys, and it's actually a deafening, deafening uh, noise that they make. But it's sweet, you know, it's nice, it means spring. And you can see the road out there just, I mean, the road is, unfortunately, that's the only downfall to where I live. Well, one of the major ones at least, is that the road is right there. And there, we have days that are... There's almost no traffic, and it really makes you think that you're, you know, you're somewhere else. Hey, what you doing? You can see that piece of bark uh, just in front of us here. And that bark came from this tree. This tree is as dead as a nail. Ah, oh, see? Kilo and Buster have scared the peepers. And <laughs> Do you see how quickly they stop? As soon as they, they know that somebody's out there, or near them, they stop. And these guys, they won't start, eh, maybe tonight they will, because it's gonna be a little bit warmer than it was uh, last night, but just they stop like, <laughs> what, did, what are you doing? Somebody's having a barbecue, actually. I can smell some food. But that's it, that's the pond. And these little guys, I mean, I have, I've tried to save this pond for years. Uh, when it gets no, like really dry in the summertime, this uh, this drops. This is about four, maybe even five feet deep at its uh, deepest spot, which would be right over there, towards the, uh, the little dam that was built. And one year it dried up completely, and I went in and I dug out the all the sludge that was uh, at the bottom, made it a little bit deeper. And there's a clay a clay bottom that actually keeps the the water in there, but it's fed from the spring right over here. We have a well, and this well has been here for probably ever, you know, hundreds of years.
but the spring comes from right, just right over there. And you can see a little, uh, here we go. So that's about how much it's flowing right there. <laughs> Buster, get out of here. That's about the extent of the, uh, of the flow of the spring. And you know, the water, even though it has uh, weeds growing on the top, it's crystal, crystal clear. Really, really nice and ice cold. But like I said, unfortunately, it does dry up in the summertime occasionally. I've seen it in you know, maybe two years out of seven or eight that it's uh, it's dried up. And we uh, we have footprints all around the spring, and that's from the deer that uh, that come here to drink. And they will nest, nest. <laughs> I should have said nest. Deer don't nest. Uh, deer will bed down for the night just right over here. This is an old barn foundation and uh, and it's really uh, it's secure you know it like from the wind and uh, and the elements so they'll bed down here for the evening and wake up and have their drink from the the, the spring. I can hear a, a few little peepers are trying to peep. So that's it for now. <laughs> Good night, peepers.